it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day of the week for a while and today in this video I'm going to talk about my top 10 school bathroom pet peeves. Now these are my personal pet peeves when it comes to bathrooms at school and whether they're not clean, whether I walk into the wrong restroom, whether it's just a mess in there because kids are playing around in the bathroom and I really don't like those kind of things that happened in the that happened in the bathroom and I'm going to get started and if you guys have ever had these problems with your school bathrooms let me know down in the comments below and I'm going to get started and I have a couple a couple school bathroom stories and I'll link them down below and I'm going to get started so number one of on my list should have to be walking into the wrong bathroom now we all do this sometimes when we're not paying attention and we really have to use the restroom at school and we'll accidentally walk into like the girl, the boys bathroom or something and we won't pay attention when we really have to go to the restroom. And um, it just happens. I mean, it is kind of embarrassing, but we all make mistakes, but we all learn from our mistakes. And I have a story about how I wasn't paying attention and I accidentally walked into the wrong restroom in the fourth grade, which I'll link down below if you didn't see. Number two in my list has to be people being loud in the bathroom. Now, this bothers me because there are a lot of classrooms next to the restroom. And if you're being loud in the restroom, it kind of can echo sometimes depending on the walls and stuff. Stuff, And that's what happened in the bathrooms at my school. If you were loud in the bathrooms at my school, then the echoing would just go through and then through and stuff. And sometimes it'd be so loud that it could disturb the class next door. And I have a story about how me and my friends were accidentally loud in the bathroom, which I'll link down below as well if you didn't see. Number three in my list has to be the stalls taken up. Now this really bothers me because um, there's me when the stalls are taken up. Now, or another thing I forgot to mention is the stall being locked when they're not being used. Used like because sometimes when I was in elementary school, the stall would be locked even if it wasn't being used. Because I think people would forget to unlock the stalls, or the janitor wouldn't lock, wouldn't would forget to unlock the stalls. Oh, and it really bothered me because then I had no access to get into the restroom. Because I remember one time my friends and I were trying to go to the restrooms and we couldn't go into the restroom and we had to go find the custodian at school to see if he could unlock the restrooms for us, which was very very nice of him him and stuff and he was super nice to unlock all the all the restroom stalls for us. us even though they were the slide locks the janitor would the custodian would be able to unlock them number four on my list would be no paper towels now this really bothered me sometimes when i'd go to dry my hands after washing them there would be no paper towels and then i have to go into the stall and go get some toilet paper because back then um, when i was in elementary school my school didn't have dryers for your hands and so we had to dry them the old-fashioned way with paper towels and stuff and sometimes it was just a pain in pain when there were no paper towels in the bathroom and we'd have to grab toilet paper because the toilet paper in our bathrooms were pretty soft and sometimes they weren't sturdy enough to dry our hands so sometimes we'd have to let our hands air dry. Number five on my list would be no toilet paper in the stall. Now this bothers me when I don't have toilet paper in my stall because then um, I don't know what else to use. <laughs> use when I try to go to use the restroom so sometimes I have to pull up my pants which is embarrassing and I'll have to grab um, toilet paper from the stall next door and it bothers me when I go into a stall that has no toilet paper because I don't think that's very considerate and I've had that happen to me sometimes but not all the time at school and I bet we've all had those moments where we've had no toilet paper in the stall at school. Number six on my list have to be people playing in the bathroom. Now, this is very disturbing when people play in the bathroom. Well, not disturbing, but just very um, disturbing for other classes when people play in the bathroom. Because sometimes people can play to the point where they're super loud. And um, people will just play around and just make messes and not care about how they need to keep the bathroom clean for the janitor. And it's just super irritating when people just go into the bathroom to play in the bathroom rather than just use the actual bathroom themselves because bathrooms aren't for playing bathrooms are for like relieving ourselves and stuff i know that's too much information so i apologize but we need to be considerate when we're in the bathroom number um seven of my list would have to be the bathroom being out of order now this bothers me when the bathroom is out of order because um 
because like sometimes um it would be one bathroom but then we, sometimes we'd have to go times it was in if it was the bathroom in the hallway we'd have to find another bath we'd have to use the bathroom in the recess yard which i kind of hated because that was a small bathroom and there were only two stalls in that bathroom bathroom and i hate when the bathroom in the hallway was out of order because that was a bigger bathroom room because there were like five stalls in that bathroom bathroom and i hated going to the bathroom in the research yard because it was just too small to me I me and i'm kind of claustrophobic number eight on my list would have to be people not cleaning up after themselves in the bathroom now this really bothers me when people leave messes in the bathroom like paper towels everywhere and water all over the sink or toilet paper all over the bathroom floor the the bathroom floor in the stall. It really bothers me when people don't do that because it shows they don't care about the school and they're making more work for the janitor, which is just super rude because the janitor already has enough work yet the things he has to clean. And it bothers me when people just leave a mess for the janitor to clean up because they don't want to clean up after themselves. It really irritates me. Number nine on my list would have to be the toilets being clogged. Now this bothers me when the toilets are clogged because I've never really had clogged toilets at school, but um, I have had moments where the toilet would be out of order because it was clogged at school and sometimes it would just be in one stall i was very lucky it wasn't in all of the stars or stalls or else we'd, we wouldn't be able to use the restroom restroom and i hate when people do that because people will use too much toilet paper to the point where it clogs up the toilet and i know we have to use the toilet paper but sometimes um we'll, we kind of go overboard but we need to be careful because toilets can only handle so much much but it bothers me when people like just clog the toilet on purpose rather than not on acts by accident it just drives me crazy number 10 on my list would be the bathroom not being clean now i've had that, those moments where i've walked into a dirty bathroom and it kind of grosses me out because sometimes well my school wasn't always like this but my my hallway bathrooms were fine my my recess yard bathrooms were always kind of dirty and stuff like sometimes there would be toilet paper on the floor paper towels on the floor but the janitor would always clean it up and stuff and no matter how many times he cleaned it up there would always be like a mess and stuff on the floor and everything and it really annoyed me when the bathroom wasn't clean like there would be toilet paper all over over around the stall on the floor and it bothers me when people just do that just to make more work for the janitor or because it just drives me crazy because it so shows no consideration oh patient and i really wish people would do that because we need to remember to be considerate and clean up after ourselves rather than relying on other people to clean up for us okay so those are my top 10 school bathroom pet peeves i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already i post every day of the week and i'll see you in another video soon bye